Learn Delhi online easily at Delhi School. Hi, Rishit Shah from Delhi School, and in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can enter futures transactions entries in Delhi. Uh, we are going to look at two types of futures transactions that is futures purchase contracts and futures sales contracts so whether you sold futures contract or whether you short sold it we are going to look at both because the entry for both of them is similar the two entries uh, are futures purchase and futures sales short sales and future sales entries are similar you just have to pass a sales entry so First of all, before creating entry, we need to create three ledgers, futures purchase account, futures sales account and a broker's account because futures are traded on exchange and we need to trade them via our broker. We cannot directly trade them. Therefore, we create a broker's account. So from gateway of tally, go to accounts info, then go to ledgers and under single ledger, create press create or enter press enter on create now in the here first of all we will create a futures purchase account it will be under a purchase account so we will just type sorry purchase accounts inventory values are affected yes because we will be buying specified contracts there is number of contracts 50 contracts 100 contracts so yes we require the number press enter and just go ahead and press enter two three times to save this ledger okay now in the same way we will create a future sales account and it will be under sales accounts under the list of ledger list of groups just select and yes here also inventory values are affected so press enter and save it now we will create a broker's account whatever the name of your broker you can keep it here for simplicity i'm just keeping it here broker's account and it will be under direct expenses because it is our expense brokerage is our expense okay inventory values are affected no here no inventory values are affected because we will just be paying brokerage and other charges there is margin money which is required to pay in futures contracts okay and press enter and save it now i've also created stock item of named tata which is we will be creating entries on tata futures contracts if you want to know how to create stock items in stock groups i've included the link in the description you can go there and see how to create stock items and stock groups in tally now we'll be creating entries for first of all purchasing futures contracts so we'll go to accounting vouchers from gateway of tally then I have already journal voucher selected but if you don't have journal voucher press F7 or just click here and come to the journal voucher select your specified date and press enter now as we are purchasing we will debit the futures purchase accounts and as soon as we press enter inventory allocations menu will open now we are buying 100 futures contracts of tata for 10000 rupees margin money so select tata i've already created the stock item and if you want to know how i create it i've included the link in the description of creating stock items in tally it is very easy and very simple quantity 100 contracts and directly enter the amount in the amount column which is 10,000 rupees as the margin money. We don't have to pay the full amount in futures contracts as you already know. So this is the margin money we have paid for 100 contracts. 
and therefore we have entered 100 numbers and credit the broker's account because we have to pay 10,000 to the broker for trading futures. Now in the narration you can write that margin money paid for purchasing 100 contracts like this. Margin money paid for purchasing 100 futures contract contracts of data and you can also specify a web for what you are buying that is data this is currently March going on so we can buy April or June so let's say June futures and that way you'll have the note that this is data June futures contract and press enter and save so this is a simple entry for purchasing futures contracts in the same way we are going to pass a sales entry for futures contracts and there is the exact opposite entry of this so for example let's say we sold 150 contracts futures June of Tata so in just previous entry I've purchased 100 futures contract and now I am selling 150 so it will be a 50 short sale and 100 will be squared up so before I create entry let's just go to profit and loss account and see the effect of the futures purchase contract so press escape and come to gateway of tally come down and go to profit and loss account and just press alt plus f1 to see detailed view so as you can see purchase accounts we have 100 futures sorry we have 10,000 rupees purchase account there is margin and we have brokers account 10,000 direct expenses and we have stock of Tata which is 100 futures contracts if we go in there that is the closing stock and we have net profit because we have purchased only and there is a closing stock which displays the net profit now we will go into again accounting vouchers and create a sales entry of 150 which means we will be squaring off opposition of 100 futures contracts and we will be again short selling another 50 contracts so in this we are selling so we will debit the broker's account first and crediting the sales account because sales is always credit and purchase is always debit so broker's account debit and let's say we are selling it for 12,000 margin money so in this case uh, we will take from our broker 12,000 rupees so that is we are debiting brokers account and crediting futures sales account which we have created at the beginning of this video so future sales account and name of the item data again and quantity here is 150 futures contract so 150 and amount is 12,000 so as you can see I entered 150 it's shown a uh, negative stock because we have short sold it so just ignore that warning in tally it gives a warning on negative stock but in futures it can be possible to short sell and tally doesn't know that don't worry it just shows warning and nothing else so press enter and go ahead so as you can see 150 12,000 sold now you can write in the narration sold 150 Tata or Tata June futures contracts for 12,000 rupees. Okay, and just press enter. So we have created a sales entry of futures transaction with a short selling entry and a squaring of position. Now let's go to profit and loss account and see how it looks so press escape and come to gateway of tally now come down go to profit and loss account press alt plus f1 
now you are seeing closing stock negative don't worry because it will show negative because we have short sold it in brokers account debit that is we have to take money from him because we have sold more than buying again if you sh square off this position by purchasing another 50 contracts and the net amount you have to pay to the broker and i have not included brokerage account here for the sake of simplicity but if brokerage charges are there at the end of all transactions whether you square off or whether you short sell you have to pay brokerage and that is not included here so if you go to Tata closing stock and I press enter we can see minus 50 is the closing balance so that means you've short sold 50 contracts and minus sign indicates that now in tally there is no specific entry for futures or futures purchase short selling short selling means you don't have anything and still you sell so that means I don't have stock and I sell so that is a negative stock and if you are creating your entries for futures in tally you should create like this so negative stock says that it is a short sold futures contract and if it is the positive number it shows that you have purchased a position and you are holding it right now and if nothing is shown here your position is totally squared off and nothing is in your account right now so futures purchase account 10,000 future sales account 12,000 and loss is of 5,000 because we have closing stock of 5,000 minus so at the end you will have loss if you don't if you didn't have made any profit because you have to pay brokerage so if you make profit it's good you will have profit but if you don't make profit or if you make loss no profit no loss you will have to pay the brokerage at the end of the day of your trade so this is how futures purchase and future sales contracts in tally are created you just have to create a purchase entry with the margin money you have paid you can get that amount from your brokers or from your contract notes that is the bill of the trading which broker gives you so just enter the margin money and if you purchase enter the margin money for purchase if you're sold enter the money you have got total net from selling the contract and just enter the transactions as i've shown in this video and you'll be good thank you very much for watching this video and if you like this video please subscribe to tele school for more videos like this and share this with people whom you may know that may benefit from this video thank you for watching Rishad Shah from tele school bye bye <laughs>